Well, ladies and gents, you can see the car is on the dyno. We got Dr. Tunamal here. He's gonna give me a dyno tune before we hit the track. Make sure my air to, air to fuel is perfect and we're making some decent numbers. So I'm not shooting for full max power on this motor because I wanna go an even 850 for a sick week. And in order to do that, we know we're gonna have to keep the car turned down and uh, we'll probably start off around 10 pounds of boost and kind of see what the car does. Make sure we don't have any issues and then turn it up a little bit from there. I would like to see what the car is capable of somewhat, but we know it's capable of a lot because it is a tech speed 427 on a big turbo. We think the limiting factor is gonna be the VS racing turbo. So we'll see about that. What do you think? Rebuilt glide, new motor, same turbo setup. I mean, we had it at the track you ran at Christmas tree race and fairly low boosted. It's yeah. A pretty good mile an hour. Yeah. I'd say the way it's sitting right now, it's probably making 8, 900 at least. I'm sure, but you know, like I was telling the people, we just need to run an 850 for sake week. And yeah. even on the old setup, we were doing eight sixes. You know, yeah, that's know what what's you spinning. Went. What did you go that night? That night, I think we did like a eight, eight or eight, nine, yeah, maybe. Well, the way it sits right now with the shocks and everything that you have on here now, it should do the easy. Well, yeah, because I was spinning. Are we, are we going to do something tomorrow? Or? Yeah, I'm planning on it. I'll be here tomorrow, so okay. we'll, uh, we'll do this. We'll make sure everything's happy. We're talking about tomorrow actually going to the track to get the suspension right. And yeah, so, you know, we did like an eight, nine at the Christmas tree race, and that was spinning off the line. So that we know this car is capable of an 850. It's just a matter of getting it perfect. All right, guys, I'm gonna introduce you to these, but these are the Comp Series from Billet Specialties, and we got the Streetlight Double B Lock on the rear. And uh, I did do a goof up. I had conical lug nuts, and so I had to overnight some uh, lug-centric lug nuts, and that looks so clean. For To clear the new wheels, since it's a double bead lock, I gotta grind down this banjo nut right here, and uh, That'll give me enough clearance if I add about a quarter inch spacer. So just trying to get these things to fit right. The fronts are gonna need a little spacer as well. As you can see, they're quite tucked, but uh, it's gonna look good. Some fresh wheels from Bill of Specialties. All right, we're gonna get this thing fired up and on the dyno, see what we can get, some decent numbers. I also have mirrors on the way, I have door panels on the way. Should clean this thing straight up for uh, hopefully running that street 850 class for a sick week. Get ready to do some ball balls. brake is kind of wired wrong so <laughs> oh you fixed it yeah. so it has a bump now too yeah it should work it's like two pounds two pounds yep gotta turn the boost controller on all right that was two pounds of boost 485 torque, 540 horsepower. We didn't turn the boost controller on. Let's do it again. On that last pass, we uh, didn't get a data log, something happened with the computer, but the tire was rubbing the inner fender well, so we adjusted that a little bit. Low boost, what boost? I was commanding five on the dome. Before going down track, we were 13. 
dude, that's all we need in this car. If we can leave the line, we're money. I just want this thing to be like. It'll leave now with them shocks in it. I just want to be 850s all day. You know what I'm saying? So what do you think we do to here, bud? I'm gonna I'm gonna put it back where it was, and we'll just do another another little rip. Make sure everything's makes. dialed. Cause we had I had I was commanding 13 on the dome before. That was only five. This so, last one was only five? Five on the dome, yeah. So it made 10.7 pounds. So You're going to put it back on 13 for when it hit the track tomorrow? Yeah, we'll put it back. We can lower it down, I think, with that. We'll that see amount. where that transmission temps are at. Nothing. Nothing. Sam, our transmission temperatures are less than 140 degrees. Ooh, we'll take that. Sam, man, it shifted good, too. But you, you do need to get a manifold air temp sensor in this. I know. Because uh, I can't tell what it's doing, so it's not going to pull time. It ain't going to do nothing. I have it cycling water through it right now, but we don't even have any ice. Right. So. She's spicy. But in order to get that manifold in, or that intake air time, so I got to pull that intake off. Really? Yeah, because all the plugs are underneath it. Oh, uh, okay. Because we got to get below that intercooler yeah. if we're going to get an accurate we'll rating. We're, we're going to 850s. We're not trying to kill the thing. Right. So. We'll make a pull here, see what it does there. Okay. That's where it was before. And then Let me we'll... uh, pop the trunk and make sure that intercooler's running. Okay. I don't even have a firstborn child, but I'm pretty sure this is what it feels like sending them off to school. Like, no. You gonna learn today? It'll be turned down from where you had been going down the track. Yeah. Okay, but it'll be turned up from our last pull. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Okay, <laughs> 1,023 horsepower and 1,162 foot-pounds of torque. We're in the 1K club. Yeah, that's all I was trying to do. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> My dog, over 1,000. Over 1,000. We're at 1,023 and 1,162 for torque. Woo! It's a, what is that, a BS85 on that thing? 88103. Oh, it is? I yeah. thought it was an 85. Okay. Either way, that thing's making some good power. 14 and a half pounds of boost. It's not pushing through the converter, is it? No, you hear it. Cu it's coupling it. So yeah. it flashes like it's supposed to, and then it couples it, pulls it down, and then pulls again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because Garrett and I were worried about that. But 14 and a half. 14 and a half pounds. All the converter is saying is, give me more power, please. <laughs> I like it. So that was 14 pounds of boost. We're four, making. Yeah, 14 and a half pounds. Oh. My girl, all that effort paying off. Be wide open. Sam was noticing we're getting a little wobble with this axle, so we got to take sure that wheel off, there. make sure it's safe. Uh, all right, boys, let's call that a successful dyno run, right? Yes, oh, yeah. done. Let's go. It's always successful when you make over a thousand. Right? On that, that little of boost, I mean, dude. And we didn't even ice it down. I know. That's just tap water. <laughs> it's old fermented yeah. Florida well tap water. Rusty, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ice this thing down. Uh, we can turn it up. Dude, this thing on 20, 25 pounds of boost, bro, is going to be an animal. <laughs> an animal. All right, guys. So this is it. I'm, the car is pretty much done. I'm waiting on a few body parts, but we're going to test it tomorrow. We weren't even planning on doing a dyno session, but Nao's down here. Yeah, here. So we strapped her down and did some pulls. We still have a couple of wiring things, of course, to iron out, you know, always with Parker's kind of sketchy wiring. <laughs> You and James. We'll probably be fixing it like all week. I'm just calling it now. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm super stoked. We have like 10 days until sick week. We're testing tomorrow night. And then uh, hopefully we can get some rest over this next week. Is that is that public yet? I don't think so. Okay. Reverse. Skirt. <laughs> Edit it. Boom, it's out. You heard it here first on my channel. No. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, that's why I leave my phone in my pocket. I promised you. Uh, so I'll leave the phone in my all right, pocket. guys. We'll see you tomorrow.